Hello, I'm Wanda. Welcome to Hooray for Anime. Thank you so much, 777, for your delightful post. Also, thank you to the Crunchy Sopa for confirming that Sasuke is indeed a Nuchia. It makes sense that he would recognize Kakashi's Sharingan when he revealed it in the last episode. If Sasuke is indeed an Uchiha, does he also have a Sharingan? I'm guessing that he doesn't, because if he did, you would think that he would have used it during Kakashi's trials, especially since he's hellbent on killing that man. Sasuke also mentioned that only a select few members of the Uchiha clan get the Sharingan. Well, under what conditions does this happen? Is it something that they're born with? Does it manifest during puberty, or is it under some other condition? I also recall in the chart Sasuke was using to illustrate the Sharingan, the person had the Sharingan and two eyes. We've seen Kakashi has the Sharingan and just one eye. Why is that? Is he secretly the love child of a Hatake and a Uchiha? I hope we find the answer to some of these questions in this episode. Okay, this is where we left off. I don't like that laugh. Whoa. Holy crap, duck. Oh. Shit. What kind of water is that? Oh no! Shit! He trapped him! Oh no, what are they going to do? Whoa. He's just going to catch up with them, even if they do run. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. Hmm. Whoa, he just blocked him. Oh. Crap.
What are you doing, Naruto? Oh, no. Oh, he went to get his headband. <laughs> yeah, that headband means a lot to him, so that makes sense. What is this bingo book they keep talking about? Whoa. He has a plan already? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> wow. Sakura shocked. <laughs> They're not going to listen. <laughs> you heard it straight from the client. He wants to fight. Wow. Demon Zabaza. What? What kind of graduation exam is that? And what kind of village is that? That's horrible. Wow. Is that him? That's Zabaza, isn't it? What? Wow, this guy's a monster. Oh my gosh. Shoot. Wow. Wow, this guy is hella strong.
Demon went shrieking. Hmm. <laughs> Sakura's all excited now. <laughs> Oh, they're after that one. <laughs> oh, shit, he caught it. Oh, there's another one. Oh no! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I think that Tazana and Team 7 made the right decision to stay and fight Zabaza. If they would have tried to flee, I think it would only have been a matter of time before they were captured by Zabaza and just killed outright. It's amazing that Naruto was able to come up with a plan in such a short period of time and also under these conditions. I also noticed in this episode how well Naruto and Sasuke worked together. During their confrontation with Zabaza in this episode, I noticed that they communicated verbally very little, but they understood each other's intent. I'm starting to think that Naruto and Sasuke have a deeper understanding of each other than they're both willing to admit. Well, that's it for this episode of Naruto. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.